Hey guys, how's it going? It's the Crypto Analyst here, and I hope all of you guys are having a good morning, evening, wherever you guys are from. And Bitcoin has crashed almost $2,000 in the past week. And since then, I've been getting a lot of questions asking why the cryptocurrency market has crashed. What could have been so big that would have caused something like this? And today, I'm going to be answering that exact question, explaining the three reasons why the cryptocurrency market has crashed. So if you guys are interested, go and stick around for the video. And do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button, as it does help out the channel a lot. But that being said, Said, let's go ahead and jump right on into this. Now, there's going to be three things that we're going to cover today. The first is going to be backed entering into the cryptocurrency uh, market. The second is going to be the Bitcoin cash scandal. And the third is going to be just the flat out technical analysis being very, very bearish. And, you know, it has been bearish for a long time. But we're going to be explaining backed first because I believe that this is the most significant of the three. Now, with backed in, uh, you know, getting ready to enter into the market here, a lot of people are seeing this as an extremely bullish thing when in reality it is a uh, a very bearish thing for the short term and a very bullish thing for the long term. I'm going to be explaining that uh, right now. So if you guys don't know what BACT is, BACT is essentially an off branch or related to the Intercontinental Exchange and the New York Stock Exchange and is essentially just their way of entering into the cryptocurrency market and them getting themselves um, really an exchange of sorts um, in cryptocurrency rather than having stocks and um, other such. Now, this being said is a very bullish thing, but with them being worth over $20 trillion, they're not going to enter into the cryptocurrency market at a premium in any way. Now, this was actually brought to my attention by uh, by someone in the comment section named Baba Me. Um, and he brought this to my attention and kind of shine some light on the subject. But if BACT is going to enter into the market and they're worth $20 trillion and they're really going to start one of the biggest and best exchanges that's supposed to you know catapult us to the moon, they are not going to be buying all this cryptocurrency at a premium. They're not. Um, you know, it's silly to think that they don't have connections, that they are going to be paying overpriced for everything. If they are going to enter into the market and cause all this revenue to be generated um, and just for this massive ecosystem to just be flooded with money, then they are not going to be purchasing at a premium. Banks don't do that. Governments don't do that. No one buys. No one that has any sort of significant uh, significance in the world today is going to be paying premiums when entering into the market. They're going to say, you want us? Give us a reason to join. Now, if the price of cryptocurrency is too high, then they will have driven it down or they will find a way to buy it cheaper, which is, you know, I think a big part of what we're seeing now. I think we're seeing them saying, you want us in the market, then we're going to have to get some sort of a discount. And I think that's exactly what's happening here is that they are getting their cryptocurrency at a discount as we're seeing, you know, cryptocurrency dipped all the way down and Bitcoin especially dipped all the way down to 4.2K earlier today. Now, this is them essentially getting their Bitcoin and getting their altcoins at a cheaper price than they would have. You know, you know, we saw the the altcoins tank earlier this year, you know, a couple of months ago with them being extremely cheap. I know you saw like XRP at like 20 cents um, and EOS back at like four or five dollars. And you had some extremely cheap cryptocurrencies, uh, especially in the altcoins. And now what you're seeing is an extremely cheap Bitcoin with Bitcoin being around 4.2 grand. Um, per Bitcoin. Now, with all this happening, again, this is just the whole idea of them not buying at a premium, them buying at a discount. And I think that's the biggest thing that's going on behind the scenes here. Um, in fact, really just, you know, creating bags um, while the cryptocurrency market is cheap um, and in secret. Now, the second thing I want to talk about is just the flat out technical analysis. I'm not going to spend too long on this because we have gone over this a lot and nothing really has changed. You know, you had consistent higher, uh, lower highs on your candlestick chart. You had, you know, almost no volume over here. You had a bearish formation pattern forming, and you even had a death cross on your three day, which I believe has only ever happened one time before, and that was back in 2014. So with all that happening, I mean, it was just bearish divergence, convergence everywhere. Uh, I mean, it, there was really no reason for it to go up. Uh, I mean, you were starting to even form like a little bit of a wedge over here. It was just bad. Now, with all this happening, of course, we did tank. We've talked about this all before, but there was just really no buyers up here. And we, uh, you know, I've said this a million times b before, but if there are no buyers, then Bitcoin will drop to a point where there are buyers. Now, we are starting to see buyers down here. This was all included in the Patreon, you know, as I drew this up, I want to say almost a week ago. Um, and saying, you know, this would be the, your, your best point of entry if you want to kind of swing trade this at all. We're going to see if this holds, but that's going to be a, for a separate video. Now, entering into the Bitcoin cash scandal, what is this? Because everyone seems to believe that the Bitcoin cash scandal is what has crashed cryptocurrency in its entirety. Now, I do think that they played a major role in kind of kicking this all into gear, but I don't think that they are the sole reason for 
causing this entire market crash. So let's go ahead and dive on into this. So essentially, Bitcoin Cash is creating a hard fork and they are doing a bunch of other things. If you guys don't know who leads them, they have a guy who leads them named Roger Ver. He's essentially the face of Bitcoin Cash, which I think is a horrible thing to have. And he calls Bitcoin Cash Bitcoin and he calls Bitcoin Bitcoin Core. Now, this creates a lot of problems in the community because he refers to it as Bitcoin and he is a you know a, a significant figure in the cryptocurrency community. So when he goes around and says Bitcoin's doing this and Bitcoin's having a fork and Bitcoin and, he, and he's going to official releases calling Bitcoin Cash Bitcoin, it leads to a lot of misconception and he's misleading a lot, a lot of people while doing all this. All while creating a more centralized form of cryptocurrency on, on the form of Bitcoin Cash but calling it Bitcoin. So people now see the centralized face of Bitcoin, you know, thinking that it's actual Bitcoin, but it actually being Bitcoin Cash, and they relate Roger Ver's face to it. So he's creating a more, um, he's really just hurting the entire purpose of cryptocurrencies and destroying that. He's, he's causing extra forks that we don't need. He's having hard forks. He created this war of sorts. He's trying to centralize the cryptocurrency, and I don't care what he says, um, by making yourself a face and naming your fork something that it's not, and then saying that you're the face of that, you're centralizing the cryptocurrency. It's the same problem that Charlie Lee of Litecoin and Ricardo of Monero had, and why they stepped you know, back from their roles, because they believe that cryptocurrencies are made to be decentralized. And if you have a face that's leading all of this, then that centralizes the coins more. That's why Charlie Lee took a step back. That's why Ricardo took a step back. And really, Roger Ver has done the opposite. He's took a step up and saying, not only am I the face of Bitcoin Cash, but I'm calling it Bitcoin from here on out. And it's done so much to hurt cryptocurrency because the intent of cryptocurrency is to be decentralized and blockchain as well. The whole point of this is to be de decentralized. That's why it's on a decentralized platform on the blockchain. And he's trying to you know, create this centralized face all around him, all around for his agenda. And it's done nothing but hurt the cryptocurrency community since he started doing this. Um, and I think that this, along with this crazy fork that, that, that they're going on over there, creating even more Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash and all this that we don't need, um, is, do, is doing nothing but hurt the economy. And that is, you know, a significant thing that you have to think about here and why this is just chipping away and adding on to the, the stacks of what's happening with cryptocurrency. Now, I, I know NVIDIA's had some stuff come out, some bad news come out about cryptocurrency in their mining or in their software as well. That has affected the miners. But in addition to all of this, you know, you just have you put these three together and you just get a cocktail um, that is just a horrible, horrible situation for cryptocurrency. So that's going to go ahead and sum this video guys up. Those are the three reasons on why I believe cryptocurrency has crashed and what I think is going to go, go um, from here. Now, I'm not quite sure that we're done. This could be our point of entry and saying, hey, this could be a temporary bottom over here. I'm not quite sure yet. It's going to take some time to figure out. But as of right now, guys, I hope you guys have an awesome day. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button as it does help out the channel a lot. But until next time, guys, I will see you guys in the next video.